Well, hi folks, welcome back to the channel. It's, um, I don't know, Tuesday. Doesn't it seem to you that all the days just merge into one and you never quite know what day it is? But I believe it's Tuesday and it's tip number 36, tip of the day. And you know, Easter has come and gone. And um, the pretty sad thing was that we never actually had any Easter eggs, not even one. Even though the kids had grown up and we don't get them Easter eggs, we still buy a few just to snack. We didn't get one. And the only place that there are any Easter eggs left is in my car, in Red Dragon, out there in the Dragon Cave. And of course, you know what I'm talking about. How many of you have gone through each and every one of the Easter eggs in the Model 3? How many of you know how to work them, how to get out of them? I didn't until this morning, and then I decided it was time. So I'm going to share with you my hunt for Easter eggs in the Model 3, hidden behind the about Tesla panel. So let's go and uh, take a look at them. We're talking about these little fun distractions that are called Easter eggs. Sometimes they're secret, sometimes not so secret, but always a lot of fun. There are a number of ways you can get to it. We can tap on the app tray. We can go to the toy box and that opens up. And by the way, if you drag your finger, you get pretty little lights all over the place. So let's close that. Let's try it a different way. Tap on the letter T and pull down. And there's the tray hidden behind the About Your Tesla panel. That's how we get to them. And some of them, we don't even have to do that. We can simply initiate a voice command. Ho, ho, ho. There we go. Put the indicator on and you hear sleigh bells. Go right. Cancel. So, uh, <laughs> how do we get out of that? I think go back into the Easter egg tray. So we'll go back into here, go back to there, turn Santa off, turn it off. There we are. We're back to Red Dragon. And speaking of Red Dragon, that's just the name that I've given my car. If we look at that name over there and we decide that we would like to change it, we can tap on there. Let's just try something different here. Let's try the word Patsy. Here, watch what happens. <laughs> That's a Monty Python reference, so those of you who enjoyed the Monty Python series, you'll know just what that is. Let's go back and see if we can change the name again. This time we're just going to type 42. And there we are. The new name for the car is Life, the Universe, and Everything. That's pretty grandiose. Let's go change it back then to Red Dragon, should we? Let's take another look at the objects in here. This is the one here that um, everyone plays with. If you choose Fart on Demand, then by pressing the left button, you can even change the type of fart. Let's go to the Shorts Ripper over here. What? That's nothing. Okay, go to a more impressive one, the Falcon Heavy. There we go. And of course, you could also do it so it worked when you turned on the indicators. So, <laughs> there we go. So, you can have fun with that, but you know, there's only so much you can do with it. All right, so what else have we got here? More cowbell. So, this is Rainbow Road. Now, if, if you're driving, all you do is you tap on the autopilot stalk, press it down four times quickly, and you'll have the giant rainbow accompanied by the cowbell sound. And of course, that is a reference to the Saturday Night Live skit with Will Ferrell and the I've got to have more cowbell. I'll do that when we go out for a drive in a few minutes. I'm in auto steer. I'm going to press four times. All right, we've done that, we've done that, we've done the center. Uh, let's go to Mars. Yeah, well, we know we're on Mars because it says Mars, and uh, we must be. Elon wouldn't lie to us, would he? So these are, I'm guessing, knowing Elon, actual high-resolution photographs of the surface of Mars. Oh, what's that there? Oh, that's our little, that's us, I guess. 
the Mars rover. Getting out of there, let's try and see if we can just tap it again. Look at that. So let's try tapping again, and we're back to normal. Now, we've always had the romance mode Easter egg. Let's try it again. It turns on the heaters, turns on the air, the heaters, uh, the fire, the sound of the crackling logs. It's beautiful. Now, if I tap it once, I should get music. And we'll stop it just in case there's a copyright strike against us. I used some copyright free music from Final Cut Pro the other day. I got a strike. I got a strike. I've lodged an objection. We'll see what happens with that. Okay, so let's go back into um, the Easter egg tray. Now we come to two of the more creative apps over here. And obviously this is the one that uh, very embarrassingly I did not find last time. But a whole bunch of people set me right and this is the Sketch app. So what do you got here? Well, obviously we've got marker or eraser. If I do something, then I go to the eraser, I can clear it. It's a lot easier to clear it by using clear. Clear the sketch? Yes. Now, let's take a look at what we have here because um, we can change color, anything you want. We can erase what we've done and we can draw. But the drawing tools are not all that extensive. Let's go and choose the color dark blue. And let's make it, I guess you could just drag. No, you can't. <laughs> the drag to adjust doesn't always work. Let's see how thin that is. Yep, OK. So let's, let's have a little go at it here. There we go. So, who's that? When I was a kid, there was a cartoon series called Dennis the Menace. Something like Dennis, anyway. So that works. I'm wondering if we can, let's just clear that. Well, if you're not sure that you want Tesla to critique your artistic masterpiece, there doesn't seem to be any way to get rid of it. So, how do I get out of there? I can hit exit. Doesn't work. Nothing taps. I still have that message. Mm-hmm. Well, let's try going... to Mars, and then it's gone. Let's go back again, get out of Mars. So that's a little bit weird. Obviously a bug they got to work out. So that's the sketch pad. Music tracks. Loading up. This is um, obviously synthetic music. You can add your drums and piano and whatever else you can creatively do. I think you'd need to spend a lot of time in the car to make any sense out of this one here. Look here. I guess we record with that button there. Play it. Well, that's a masterpiece. Change instruments. Oh, there we go. Let's add some strings. Like so. Oh, nice. It is what it is. You really have to be um, at a loose end to want to create something on this. 
I use Logic Pro at home and of course you can do a lot more but we can actually slide to get a different register to get out of here tap on the screen hit the X at the top right corner let's get back into the tray we've pretty much gone through them all not exactly in the Easter egg tray uh, we do also have the arcade which is under entertainment and it's there and if you're a gamer or you love playing games there's a lot the one that I do use from time to time is chess there we are so-called passenger is already playing and um, I can move like that passenger can do this I can move that all the way down to there Janine does that no that will put the king in check it doesn't let me I like that Janine does that I come out with my queen like that her next move will be to take me you get the idea we're going to exit out of there so theater of course is where we spend more time and that is on Netflix or YouTube exit out of there remember Easter eggs are not meant to be serious apps they're just expressions of the sense of humor that Elon has and of course all of the software designers and the engineers and the fun that they have making the car and putting things in there for us to see that's our Tuesday tip of the day you know what else are you doing at home I mean watching YouTube videos I'm sure but I'm hoping you're finding other ways of keeping productive so if you wanted to start something new now's a good time you want to make some plans for something in the future now's a good time in any case thanks for taking the time to watch all the way through like you always do right thank you for supporting the channel and I will see you again tomorrow.